I'm going to look at a typical synthesis question. So we've got it on the board there. Propose a two-step synthetic route to make a sample of butanone from butane. And we're told we need to include the following. Reagents and conditions. Now that's obviously for both steps. The types of reaction. Any observations and chemical equations. And then after we go through the answer to this part, I'm going to throw in a calculation that could be asked. So if you want to have a go, then I'll go through the answer. So there's step one on the board, butane plus H2O making butan 2 all It's got to be butan 2 all because ultimately we're going to turn this alcohol into a ketone. So we need to make the secondary alcohol. The H of the water can either go here or here. We want the H to go there so that the OH goes here and creates the secondary alcohol. So this is an example of a hydration reaction and the water must be in its steam form and so therefore the temperature must be over 100 degrees C and we need a phosphoric acid catalyst. And there's step two, so we are oxidising the butantool to butanone, that would also create water. So we need acidified potassium dichromate under reflux. And the observation for this step, there wouldn't be an observation in step one, is an orange to green colour change. So we'll look at a typical calculation now. So you can see on the board there, 23.7 kilograms of butanone was made from 29.6 kilograms of butane. Calculate the percentage yield. So again, if you want to have a go, and then I'll go through the answer. So before we start looking at the numbers, let's just remind ourselves what percentage yield is a measure of. It's the actual mass or moles produced divided by the theoretical mass or moles produced, multiplied by 100. So there's our reaction scheme again, and you can see I've included the masses on there. So our starting mass of butane is 29.6 kilos, and we are told that we produced 23.7 kilos of butanone. So this, is the actual mass that was produced. So what we need to know is what the theoretical mass would have been. I will do the mole version as well, just to show you that you get the same answer, but let's look at the masses. So the first thing we need to do is calculate how many moles of butane we've got. So you can see the answer there. The calculation is performed by taking the mass of butane, turn it into grams and dividing by the MR, which is 56. So that gives us a moles of 528.6. And I've just rounded that to one decimal place. So you can see on the calculator there, there's the calculation. 29.6 times 10 to the 3. Remember, mole calculations must be in grams, divided by the MR of 56. And there's the calculator value on the screen there. So if we just look at the mole ratio running through this scheme, if we've got 5 to 8.6 moles of butane, there's a 1 to 1 ratio between the alkene and the alcohol. So theoretically, we should make 5 to 8.6 moles of this. They obviously feed into step 2. So we've still got those 5 to 8.6 moles. And we should, in theory, make 5 to 8.6 moles of product because this 1 to 1 ratio just runs right through the synthetic route. So I've brought the formula back for the calculation of percentage yield just to show you what we've got so far. We've actually got the actual mass produced, so that's this 23.7 kilos, and we've just established that the theoretical moles is 5 to 8.6. So, we've got a choice. We can either work out the actual moles, and then we've got both the numbers we need, 
or we can work out the theoretical mass. Well, I'm going to do both. We'll compare it with your answer. So if we start with the actual moles, all I've done is I've taken the actual mass, 23.7 kilos, turned that into grams, so that's 23.7 times 10 to the 3 grams, and I've divided it by the MR of butanol, which is 72, and that gives me an actual moles of 329.2, and there's the calculator value there. And you can see on the top board there, to one decimal place, we're getting a percentage yield using the moles of 62.3%. So looking at mass now, the theoretical moles would indicate that we should get a theoretical mass of 38.1 kilos. So how have I worked that out? I've taken the theoretical moles, 528.6 multiplied by the MR of 72, mass equals moles times MR, and that gave me an answer in grams, which I then divided by a thousand to put it into kilos. And there's the calculator value for you there. And you see on the top board there, feeding those numbers into the calculation, we still get the same percentage yield of 62.3%. Now, I've used the calculator values, I've just kept the calculator values in here, and I'm getting that 62.27, etc., which obviously rounds to 62.3%. If you use your rounded values here, you'll actually get 62.2%. So, top tip, keep the number in your calculator.